All right, so picking up where I last left off, uh, before we know, we saw that <clears throat> we had to somehow manage to free this backing mount bracket from the actual back plate itself. And to do that, you can see the factory has used a type of adhesive strip around, or a type of adhesive to glue the backing plate in addition to screwing it to the actual laptop screen itself. Now in order to pull that off it requires quite a bit of force. It's very tricky. Um, I'd recommend uh, having a variable size of flathead screwdrivers. I used everything from this to a very small one to all the way up to a big size. And what I did was I started by down here at the front you can see there's a little notch right under there that you can fit a screwdriver and you apply force by using the edge as a leverage point. Now you need to be very careful you don't bend this outer ledge as you're pulling this off. Now you need to go very, very slow as you work your way around. You'll notice right here there's some very thin spots and up top here there are also some very thin spots as well and those are glued on. Now as I was pulling it off from the damage acquired during impact I noticed that there was a small portion of the bracket that was damaged right there you can see there's a break and there's another break in the bracket um, somewhere ah, right here excuse me there's some separation that happened right there should be all okay I'm gonna throw some JB weld on it and we should be good to go we'll just press those back together and clean them up with my Dremel tool when they're all done now as far as this guy goes, I'll go ahead and take a little razor blade and scrape off as much of that glue that they had applied to the edge of the backing plate in order to get it to stick. That way the mounting bracket and the screen doesn't come loose, obviously, from your back plate. So <clears throat> the first step here is going to be, now if you notice, you can see right here, <clears throat> this is my key point of interest. This is the, the main impact or the main collision area where the screen uh, you know, it looks like hit a wall or hit something. Um, you can see the scrap marks. Maybe it was cement. Um, I'm not quite sure. It looks like it has white paint on it. So um, possibly maybe a car door. Uh, not quite sure how this guy was damaged but as you can see definitely is not smooth definitely is not round and does not make for a a very pretty laptop or b a functional lid because it will not close properly due to the extreme slim design of these guys if one thing's out of whack you know and the lid doesn't shut and you potentially can just break your screen by closing it and throwing it in your backpack. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and calculate the amount of force that I need to use and what type of a tool I need to use to get that curvature to match up with the rest of it. So what I'm going to try and do is use the curved edge of possibly a screwdriver edge or something that follows the curvature of this and then very light soft taps against my little back cloth here to prevent scraping and prevent unwanted damage to the back surface. So we'll go ahead and tr give that a try here and see how that goes and see if we can get it straightened out. Positioned. Yeah, of 
course, it's not going to sit where I want it to. So we'll pick up from there.